Hello viewers, welcome to a brand new video in JS and RS Solution YouTube channel. I hope you are doing very great. Today's tutorial about how you can download dem, slope, hill shade, roughness, aspect together in just one click. You don't need to perform those maps separately. You will also get KMZ file for all those maps. I hope you will find this tutorial pretty useful. This method will save your time and effort from having to produce each map separately anyway let's get started to this tutorial first go to search box and write open topography and after that uh, click on open topography home and you will get this interface and you will uh, find here lots of information and go to data and click on find data map and if you go to find data map uh, you will you will see this uh, interface and here you can see open topography several data sources and data view like hybrid um like terrain view satellite different uh, kind of view we can see by clicking here and also you will find here different data sources data types and for this tutorial uh, i'm gonna show you how you can download from global and regional dams from here you will uh, able to uh, download slope and spect hill shade and uh, dam roughness anyway first uh, click here and select a data set and here just click srtm you will find here lots of data sources just click on srtm gl on and gl3 and then go to your uh, study area actually uh, the data you need the select a region using this tool and after selecting your uh, study area i mean area of interest and then uh, you will uh, get this uh, results global and regional dam and here you will uh, find um global digital elevation models nasa dam global digital elevation model global bathymetry and topography at 15 arc and then global multi-resolution topography als world 3d and shuttle radar topographic mission srtm global just if you uh, click here uh, you will see lots of information and uh, if you uh, click srtm gl3 mainly srtm gl3 is a uh, global 90 meter uh, data and uh, srtm gl1 it is a uh, global 30 meter so i will go for srtm gl1 and after that uh, you will find here coordinates data selection coordinates just click here for manually enter selection coordinates and then validate coordinates and estimate area the selection area is approximately uh, at the, um, I mean kilometer square and then data output formats you will find here three data output formats just uh, I have uh, clicked GeoTiff for and astral visualization I mean uh, I need hill shade slope spect and roughness so I have selected these options and output format TIFF or image so I have selected TIFF and then make additional Google Earth KMZ output and hill shade options vertical acceleration 12 and after that um, you will find here job description so you have to write here uh, as job title your student or profession your profession and then job description um, writing research purposes and enter your email address where you want to uh, receive your data 
um, anyway if you, uh, you if you will use this data you have to uh, cite uh, proper with proper references anyway you can see here the raster job results it is ongoing yeah uh, final status done and you can see here option download data dem results and visualization products download compressed raster result just uh, click here yeah just click here and your data will be downloaded yeah download and for other products click here and download if you want to check a uh, KMZ file from uh, your selected location you can uh, download KMZ file from here also you can view uh, this uh, output in uh, map yeah if you uh, want to view slope in map you will find here yeah it's pretty interesting yeah you can get you can also download KMZ just click here yeah on KMZ file download our uh, wall file has been downloaded uh, if you go to download up download a folder and extract this file extract files okay then yeah these are the wall of uh, output and this is dem total five uh, outputs this is dem and now i will add this uh, map in arc map so before that uh, you can see the kmz file slope I have downloaded uh, one KMZ file for slope. Yeah. You can also uh, download uh, the output file from uh, your email. Yeah, or available at. So uh, it is easy to download from here. Uh, now open ArcMap. now i will uh, perform the maps so first uh, i have uh, added here the srtm uh, dame data you can uh, change the color i will add uh, others output i mean aspect hill shade roughness and slope select all and then add this is slope roughness hill shade spect um slope uh, i have added here area of interest i mean my study area now uh, i will perform map uh, layout preparation and first i will uh, mask my study area 
for that go to a specialized tools structure struck by mask and select input raster and input raster or feature mask data i have selected side of interest i mean my study area and then output folder where you want to save your output data just rename it mask slope and then save and then ok it is in progress you can perform uh, for others output as well and after that I click here uh, properties and then classify it i want to five classes so uh, i'm keeping uh, five classes and after fraction just uh, keeping three total number and you can also change the color click ok yeah slope map has been done just rename the map this is uh, similarly you can perform for others like elevation uh, hill shade um, roughness um, slope spect uh, elevation for map layout and zoom to layer go to insert and then title give a title i'm going to write elevation meter and then click ok and click elevation properties and then change symbol and uh, size uh, you can change you can increase or decrease the size size then again go to insert uh, legend next add on to keep legend and legend i mean title then finish yeah legend has done and uh, go to properties for um, changing the size yeah legend also has done and then uh, north arrow you can select uh, any style from here um i will change this uh, style so i think uh, it's it looks good okay and then um, scale bar select any scale bar from here go to properties and division units uh kilometer and then click ok uh and then go to properties and i can uh change uh you can uh, add grids uh, grids and appearance levels only then next then next then finish and then go to again properties and uh, intervals you can uh you can select intervals uh, here okay apply and then okay and again the uh, uh, will um yeah vertical levels uh, left and right and you can change the size um then okay okay i think now it's uh, it looks uh, good and you can save the map from file export map and uh, file name you can change the file name and uh, save as uh, type jpg uh, resolution you can change the resolution save as type you will find several uh, file type and then save 
yeah this is elevation so similarly you can uh, perform for other maps as well 